Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Linovsky against uh, Pyrrhic against Linovsky. Um, where? Yes. That's yes. the one you analyzed. Um, that's the <laughs> um, match between Pawn C. Shame um, against We Need One More Player to Play Football. <laughs> <laughs> um, the match ended six and a half to three and a half for We Need One More Player to Play Football. And that one also was a match uh, played very early in the team. Um, so, like the other ones, we don't have much more information if one of them could have drawn it, or should have drawn it, or something like that. Um, okay, you can move on. Okay. Yes, I start. Um, it was uh, the Karakan defense. Uh, I played with both, both sides. Um, with white, I really like this uh, advanced variation. Um, and okay, I with black, I maybe I sometimes play here c5 and third move, but uh, the most more uh, better move is bishop f5. Okay, knight f3, d6, bishop f2, c5. c5 is a very um, aggressive line. Black uh, immediately wants to um, make pressure in the center. Here, some slow move like t3 is not uh, in white's favor. Um, the bishop e3 is the main line. And now I was a bit surprised of uh, knight c6 because, okay, I had this one time before. And um, IC6 is a mistake, a serious mistake, because white can simply take on C5. And this pawn leg won't see again. You know, something like bishop takes uh, loses a piece because of the queen a 5 check, white can play D4, and after knight takes, bishop takes, queen takes. I had this one week ago in a blitz game on Nietzsche's against a 2400 rated player. But, okay, white is a piece up, wins p7, and it's completely game over. Um, but if you don't get the c5 pawn and don't get the e5 pawn, then this position is simply horrible. I mean, maybe you can get some pressure with knight e7, knight e6 or something. And you also but, played it very fast. Yeah. Mm. So I didn't spend um, that much time here. Yeah. Um, but okay, okay let's, let's take, take a look, a look. Uh, to the main line of queen b6. I can, I can give, give you a quick... Yeah. Um, nope. uh, after queen b6, it's not so easy to defend the b2 pawn, but that's why why it shouldn't protect. Because something like queen c1 is very unnatural or b3 weakens this uh, black colored uh, field um, and uh, the main move here is uh, knight c3 and after queen takes b2 there's the funny line in b1 the idea is to uh, get into the queen side position of black with queen takes b7. If, for example, black takes on c3, bishop d2, queen takes c2 of queen a3, and then queen takes b7, and you get the rook and are an exchange there, and the king is very weak. Um, if black takes the c2, the c2 pawn, then the same thing. Okay, not exactly the same, but you can first give the check to uh, then protect the knight on c3 with rook c1 and then take b7 and it's always game over and it's also game over um, and here if you take on b1 then c4 to uh, avoid 
Bishop B5 check. What would happen after B6? After B6? Okay, it's the question if White would like to take uh, Knight B5 or Bishop B5. Um, but in uh, either case, you can take on um, C5 and then they Rook B7 maybe. After D4, you have Bishop B5 check. It seems very, very dangerous to me. And D4? And then Bishop B5. And now maybe um, Bishop D5 or Knight D5. Maybe Bishop D5. Bishop D7. Okay, okay, wait, okay. wait. Now King C8 and I have a problem. I see. Okay, then Bishop D5 is not good, but after Knight D5, uh, White well, shouldn't have a problem. I mean, yeah, you're right. Knight yeah, Bishop B4 maybe is working. Yeah, but. Um, but okay, we don't have to play Rook B7. Knight B5, I like. Or something like this. Um, D4 is maybe also not a threat because of Bishop A3 ideas. Um, yeah, okay, this, this one is fine for. Yeah. But okay, oh, here C4 should be the best move, and now um, White can take the B7 pawn. Black should develop. <clears throat> and after knight b5, there are two moves. Uh, one would be knight to b8, after which white continues with uh, rook c7 and knight e6 check. That's a, a game I think Hayekin played against. I don't remember. Maybe Eliana. Um, and here white ended up with a good position, bishop f4. D6 was protected, active with rook, um, 95 ideas, and here with black was. Uh, black's position is a bit unpleasant, I think. White was very happy with this. I mean, I can always take a 7 or rook e7 check if you move your knight. Yeah. Um, the, the other move instead of knight e8 is uh, rook to b8. But then I can simply take the rook okay, and then uh, develop myself. And with rook b1, the white has the initiator. Um, okay. Another main line is um, here to play knight c6. Yeah, first take b b6 to provoke knight c3, now knight c6 because now c5 is protected. After dc, bishop c5, knight a4, I have queen a5 check, for example. Um, after castling, you have to, uh, there is this threat, maybe castling knight h6 or something, then I can take on c5, and um, you can't take back because of knight a4. Um, but here, after knight c6, castling queen b2, that's another main line, and here I um, remember a game uh, in the German Oberliga against an uh, international master with 2400. And here I um, uh, didn't remember, I, I remembered wrong and I thought now queen b1 would be the move. But here you have to play queen e1 to protect c3, threatening would be 1, knight e5. And here uh, the main line is, going, is continuing with. Uh, Pawn takes bishop takes, knight takes knight takes, then bishop b4, rook b1. Now changing on c3, you can take with both, with, with bishop or with the queen. But in uh, either case, it's continuing. Mark, I think we had this position sometime in the stream. I don't know, you remember with bishop e5 check, then c4, take the f5 and play against at least diagonal and something. Yes, I remember. Yeah, and here, <laughs> and here um, White is a pawn down, but has the more active pieces and should be uh, okay here. Um, yeah, but I played with, uh, Queen B1 and then after cha uh, changing the Queens and place C4 or casting uh, Queen side, my position was absolutely terrible. 
where it's something like this. Now I can't take on c5 because of d4, but I think I went for it with the sacrifice because I was very upset here. <laughs> because I knew uh, I uh, uh, didn't remember well. Okay, it's wrong. You remember the one line. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, but uh, yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> Okay, another possible uh, option instead of queen b6 is here to take d4. And these are the two main lines uh, in this because knight c6 is a mistake because of d takes c5. And after c takes d4, also this we have uh, we had a few times in the stream. Now castling knight c6, bishop d5 to pin here. After a6, you can. Uh, you should take on c6, then um, a c4 takes, knight c3, knight d5 takes, takes. Oh, wait, I. Ah, oh, wait here, queen b7 first. Then knight c3, now take, knight a4, knight d5 takes, takes. And this type of position is uh, very typical. Sorry for interrupting you again. If Purek or Linovsky are in the chat right now, feel free to point out some thoughts through the match. Or if yes, you want to ask please. something, just feel free to ask. Okay, you can go. Um, yeah, and okay, here uh, I think there are many Grandmaster games with, <laughs> uh, which all ended, probably all ended in the draw. <laughs> um, but. <laughs> It's not um, as easy to play. Okay, but um, which I like is here instead of a6 bishop g6 and then c4. And I think also this we have had one time in the stream. And here white can simply sacrifice the rook and have a good position. And here queen takes c4 and with this pin, with this knight on c6, everything with this. Development, adventure of development, uh, White has a strong initiative. But let's continue with the game because, okay, opening is not everything. Knight c6 is, yeah, I don't think it's an inaccuracy, I think it's a mistake. Uh, but White should uh, obviously take on c5 this one. Um, after castling, uh, it was uh, uh, transposing to the main line, and here white should play knight c3. And there we are again, and not play pb1, instead of pb1. <laughs> but here after d takes c5, bishop takes, bishop takes, black reached everything he wanted. He, um, he is well developed, I mean knight c7 or something. And then passing king uh, side, and has the strong uh, idea to play here the minority attack with b5, b4, or b5, a4, b5. Um, maybe you can play some uh, knight a5, knight c4 ideas, or, or push the d pawn. I think here black has better ideas and more ideas than white. But okay, let's take a look. Rook e1, castling, bishop d3. I don't like bishop d3. I would like I would play here uh, knight to d2, knight f1, knight e3, knight d3, because the knight is the last. Okay, the knight and the rook here and the queen side are the last pieces which aren't developed. Um, I think we should try yeah, to change this situation. But okay, bishop d3 is not a mistake or something, but yeah, I would play, I would have played knight to d2, bishop d3, and now the b5, what well, was I said before, bishop takes, knight takes, now knight to d2, of course, now rook fc8. Here, it's every time a difficult decision which rook we should take. Um, because maybe rook to a to c8 was better because the other rook should go to d8. But maybe the other rook should stay on a8 to um, help the a pawn to 
course to A A3 maybe or something. Maybe we should go to B8. Yeah, but okay, these questions um, we should shouldn't try to solve or to answer in, in a game uh, because for this decision uh, you can one can uh, use one can spend half an hour without uh, any success. That's why I think group C8 to play fast. Yeah, you see eight minutes. I think eight minutes are. Okay, in a classical game, maybe okay, but uh, maybe a little bit too much because you won't get the yeah. Yeah, okay. He, he still has thirty-five minutes, so yeah, of course, that's but probably the first move he's really thinking. Long time here. Okay, knight b three, queen b six. I think it's over. And g four is is a move I. Yeah, like in the game before I, I watched, I, I showed what we, we looked for. Um, it's only weakening the own king, yeah? I mean, it's absolutely unnecessary to play here g4. I mean, white has enough moves to make queen d2 or rook c1. Yeah, but what to do else? What to do? Yeah, maybe h3 to, to make a. For the for the king in some case of queen d queen d two or rook d one, maybe play knight knight to d two or try to yeah maybe rook c one with the idea to knight to d four because after knight d four knight takes knight takes knight takes queen takes queen takes pawn takes you don't be afraid of knight, rook c four then maybe takes 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 maybe takes takes and, and here with the rook in c1 it's um, okay but now maybe I can think about b3 and then rook to c7 and then it's, yeah okay I, I think a, black's still better but that's soldable yeah okay here maybe I can take and now make something a3 or something you see I think of course your the white position is not good but g4 makes it horrible <laughs> okay knight bd2 uh, bd4 knight g6 now there are weak weak um, squares here but okay uh, then I, I want to push h4 yeah if i play g4 then i go h4 yeah of course but f4 you don't want to allow the, knight, uh, the black knight to go to f4. Yeah, but okay. H That's why queen d2. h4, knight f4, but I can still kick this one out with knight d uh, queen d2. So h4, knight f4 is not. Mm -hmm. I mean, this one's gotta go back right. and. Then knight f4 okay, is just I, stupid. And then I should wait until h5 and maybe play some good moves like b4 or something, but. But okay, I, I see in, in the match, uh, queen d2, uh, next move was h5, uh, h4, uh, so. And now queen d8, with the idea after h5, I can play knight to h4. And then g5? If you, huh? And if now g5, I can, okay, if I want to, I can take on d4. If yeah, want, this I looks can, nice. And maybe I can uh, sacrifice on c3 some, sometimes. Yeah, not rook. now, but because of queen d3 then. Rook c4, I like. Yeah, it's threatening rook takes d4 and knight uh, f3 check. With the fork, the queen and, and king. And, um, okay, but if you don't play h5, then it happens back in the game that. Um, um, okay, I mean, you have to protect some on the h4, and if you don't play h5, you have to go for d5. Yes. But here, queen c7 was, I think, a strong move, um, which attacks the e5 pawn, and after knight b5, I mean, somehow, if you here take on c6, what the, um, the engine uh, wants to play, it's also some somehow bad because after h5 you can take on c3 and mm -hmm. then f3 will hang okay and, and after rook take yeah you 
can this, take an F3. This one here it's a yeah, double rook end game with a pawn up, but also this uh, weaknesses. I mean, where's black weakness? Yeah. Nowhere. And white and has a few. So many. King G6. Not that king. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's lost. That's lost. I mean, yeah, if this is the best line, then. Um, yeah. Okay, but after knight b5, queen b8, um, I like this idea that b5 and e5 are attacked, and after queen e2, which protects both, you can simply take on e5, because if the queen takes then on e5, then b5 is in. And you win, you still win the pawn, c3 uh, stays weak, after rook b1, you have queen c4. And uh, c3 and h4 are hanging. And again, we see this weak pawn, this weak king. Um, yeah, but okay, in the game, there uh, when white went for rook a b1. Now, yeah, black, black should uh, maybe be afraid of some knight moves because then the queen is hanging on b8. And e5 is hanging, obviously. Yeah, now, but okay, I move away the knight, and then it's the question what to do with the b file. Is maybe knight d4 a threat, and then take on e6, or something like this, yeah? Yeah. After queen b7, there follows uh, knight to d6. Um, okay, white went for queen g4, and here um, I was surprised to see that knight d2 is uh, the best move. Because, okay, I mean... Yeah, rook the, c4, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the most natural move would be here, knight, uh, rook to d2, then queen c, uh, rook c4, and now queen e2. And here, the... Yeah, not, not so easy to find move a6. It's the only move, I think, because if I move the knight, then uh, knight a3 is coming, and then the rook is hanging. And here we have to um, get used by this pin that now the knight on d2 um, avoids this protection from the queen to the rook that we don't use here the knight. And after a6, if you take the knight, we take the knight. And now again h4, yeah. a2, c3, a lot of weaknesses. And your king. Yes. Um, okay, I was looking for rook b2 after rook b4. Um, you can play a5 and then the same game. You exchange these knights and can take on c3 and two pawns up. It's obviously bad for white. But knight d2, if it works, then yeah. But you have to see this a6 move, and I think that is not so easy. Yes, you're right. Um, okay, in the game, the uh, follow queen d6, knight d4, queen a6. I would prefer here knight, uh, queen d6. I don't know why he went to a6. Okay, a6 is also... Yeah, threatening to take on a2, I can understand. Yeah, but somehow queen d6 looks more natural. Yes. But, okay, then h5. White wants to... Uh, create some attack here with these pawns. And, okay, here rook c7. Um, instead maybe e5, but e5 gets so complicated and I honestly don't want to force here e5. As I don't want to play e5 with black because knight f5 and everything, it, it seems yeah. a bit... Yeah, I, I'm proud of Okay, that could be fine, but that's that's... I mean, okay, play. the threat could be here now on knight d6, and then exchange of queens, but, yeah. Okay, e5 would be a good move, but rook c7 is okay. Um, g6, e, now e5. e5, okay, it's not, <laughs> uh, yeah, if you want to play e5, then you should let it, but... Yeah, okay, g6 is e5. hanging now, you've got it. Yeah, but I don't like it any, in any case. <laughs> Material can knight f5, threatening mate. 
And here the uh, better move would be queen f6, because the queen in defense is an important uh, piece, and it not only protects uh, protects the g7 pawn, but it also um, yeah protects uh, the e5, and maybe you can trade queens. Um, on g5 somehow or on the h6 queen of g5. yeah 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 it's it's a funny uh, thing because in the game in the analysis i i've seen this uh this motive one time uh yeah it will be beautiful but okay in the game f6 was played and it's uh yeah it's weakening to uh, very much this, this white uh, colored builds. Ah, Chris, Chris raided. Um, vielen Dank an Chris. Sorry, got to switch to German because he's a German streamer. Um, vielen Dank. Hab gesehen, er Puzzle Racer gemacht. Um, wir streamen hier gerade auf Englisch und analysieren die Leeches Liga. Um, und da werde ich jetzt auch wieder ins Englische switchen. Aber vielen Dank, Chris. Und herzlich willkommen an die neuen Zuschauer. Es wird das erste und das einzige Mal sein, dass ihr uns auf Englisch reden hört. <lacht> Später auf jeden Fall dranbleiben, wir spielen noch die äh, Titled Arena. Entschuldigung, ja. Yeah. Ja, yeah, exactly. And now here, after Knight H4, Queen takes A2, um, H6, trying to open up the, the Black King. And here, I think, um, in C2 should be the best move to avoid uh, knight g6 and followed by queen f5 ideas. You now after knight g6, king takes h7, queen f5, then um, this check idea is knight f8, queen h7, and something like this is very dangerous. And with, with queen c2, you avoid this. Yes. But also here, um, white has some chances somehow with rook b1, and then um, yeah, play for this weak pawn or uh, yeah, because if the queen on c2 is needed for the the defense, then white has time to start another attack, maybe in the center. Rook takes b5. Let's say like that. White is in the game now. Yes, yes. Okay, after queen d2, there this um, was. An option with knight, knight to g6 and queen to f5, but it's not working because of um, king takes h7. And after queen f5, we have queen takes h6, which is an interest, uh, an important move because in the game queen g5 check was played, and then it went in the end game. In the end game, and there one or two pawns with this double p pawn wasn't enough to win. Yeah, but, you're losing uh, the f5 pawn. Yes, yes, that was the reason why. Maybe you win uh, the c3, c3, but d5 is also weak, and then, yeah. But after queen h6, you have to realize that white has not not really um, a good uh, good move with the knight. Yeah, because you've Maybe always got g6, haven't you? Yes, yes. After knight e5, for example, d6, you have to take the f6 that the knight isn't losing. And here, after rook f8, queen e6 maybe. Um, and here, after queen d5 check, if you go to um, h1, I have knight d2, knight takes b1. If you go to the h file, I have queen h4 and then take on f2. And here, if you. Um, Sorry, after king h1? In, Sorry, after king h1, can you also play queen g7? Or isn't. I should work also. Ah, you but can also I mean, play queen g5. Queen h4 and then take on f2 should be... Yeah, okay. Okay, uh, yeah, you're right. Um, but the funny line here, like you said before, is after queen g4, you can take on e5, uh, eliminates the uh, protecting piece, and after queen takes e5, you have knight f3 and take back. That's some funny mm -hmm. line. And after knight g4, you play rook f4 and... Uh, Attacks when you attack the pin, pinned piece. Yes. And also, this is game over. F3 you can simply take. Um, 
yeah, this is a problem, and after a night they have eight, you can take in the eight, and nothing happens, and you are up three pawns. Yeah, and the weak king, that's, that's just crushing. Seven, and, and three pawns up, and mm -hmm. you have the better king, king position. Yeah, but, um, okay, instead of uh, knight to g6, uh, white should have played uh, f4. Um, to make the queen not protecting h6 anymore. And now, knight b6, queen f5 is again an idea. Here, I mean, it's very, it seems very dangerous to me to play f4 with this king. Yeah, The, <laughs> the last pawn what was protecting my king, I, I moved forward. But, um, yeah, it's uh, out of uh, yeah, the technical... A tactical view, it's a good move. And here black could be in trouble. Somehow. With queen g6, knight f5, or knight, knight g6, queen f5. And black doesn't have a check. Yeah. For example, after queen takes c3, you can take on g7. Because after rook takes g7, you take knight g6. And here I uh, didn't understand that after king takes h7, um, that's not only white who has to uh, be afraid of the attack, but also black can't move the, the rook from the seventh rank because of uh, rook b7 check. Something like rook, uh, king to h8. Okay, but you, you've got to do this because after rook takes g6, your uh, queen can't move. Yes, yes. You've got to move your queen. Um, yeah, here you have this uh, rook b7 idea, and if the king moves, then you check, can checkmate. The king g8, you take the rook, after king h8, magic mate, and mm. Yeah. And, um, yeah, that's the problem from black. And here it's not so easy to, to find how to proceed. Maybe king g8, but also this looks dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, at least you got a draw with white, let's say. Like yeah. yeah, of course, the. Uh, Computers ever 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 evaluation is uh, uh, zero point zero or something. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, obvious. Okay, but back to knight g six check. Here, uh, after king, the queen takes h six, the game should be game over. But after queen g five, white uh, again has the chance to reach a draw, and uh, he succeeded. But also here, I think with, okay, you're two pawns up, but okay, the double g pawn, you would, maybe you shouldn't count. Um, but the rook on a8 is a well placed piece. After a5, a4, a3, white is very in trouble. And for this reason, you can also give the d5 pawn. Yeah? After a5, white can take the d5, then a4, and maybe, okay, rook d6 check to... Uh, make the king's position a bit worse because um, on g6 f5 he it, it would be active but on d8 it's not so good and now protect the c3 pawn now um, put the, the rook uh, in front of the a pawn and also over here we, we don't have to speak uh, about who is playing for the win I mean Black is much better. Maybe it's not enough to win, but um, I think this should be the line Black, Black should, have to go for. should go for. Yes. Um, what happened in the match? In the match, Black uh, decided to uh, protect the d5 pawn, but after Bishop, uh, Rook b1, he had to give up the d5 pawn. And now, um, he, um, yeah, we see the rook on a3 to protect the a, a fast pawn is not well placed. Instead, he should stand on a8 because rooks should be behind, behind the, the own and behind the other uh, the opponents. Uh, this, um, this should be okay here after rook b8. This should be drawn rook very easily, eight. other. Yeah, oh. right. But but it. <laughs> Was uh, one one thing in the game? Okay, show me, so, show me. Yeah. Um, okay, White uh, doesn't allow Black's king to 
get into the game. Um, rook f6, rook a6, and here, okay, white does nothing. f3, okay, and now I think here white should go for king g4. Instead, here he should have a uh, go for king g4 because now it's unavoidable, I think, to give up a pawn. Like, yeah, king f6, rook f8 check. King f6 check, king e7 go away. How to protect? After rook e5, I take the a6 pawn. Which is more important than the g5 pawn. Yes, and if you go with the king to the, the queen side, then I take the g5 pawn. And until your king reaches b7, I can push my pawn to f4, maybe take on g6, and then our pawns will be um, uh, on, on the last rank uh, at the same time. And yeah, maybe some, something like there and there, f4, take, 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 and draw. Yeah, you see? And draw. Okay. Yeah. And um, okay, but White um, missed this uh, option to save the draw. Instead, he lost two tempi. And now, after King B7, it's okay. It's also Rook G8 to maybe save the draw, but yeah, but that's too slow. Yeah, okay, but I have the F pawn. No? Yeah, but you're losing because of Queen but, H8. Yeah, yeah, Queen. F Queen H8, ah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we were right. Okay, okay. it's important for for, um, why, uh, for black to don't allow, to not allow King G7, because with the F pawn it would be a draw, but yep. after King, Queen H8, F8 is protected, and King G7 also. Okay. Okay. But in the game after Rook D8, again, here, black doesn't Pushed, pushed it, uh, didn't push his A pawn, and I think this is completely game over. Yeah, this I mean, is winning. I, I, success, I success with putting my rook on A6, behind my A pass pawn, and protecting the D6. And here it's nothing white can do. I was looking for a little bit, rook D5, then maybe rook E5, put my rook in front of the A pawn, and now black simply goes to the to the g-pawn, protects it. I mean, if here white doesn't play f5, then I play queen f6, and you can't move the rook because then I have pushed my a-pawn. And after a5, f5, I can simply take and then go to the b, to the a-pawn. Yeah, that's winning. Okay, another missed chance, but uh, in the end. After um, King C6, F4, and um, also here I can push my A4. Yeah, but this, this. again I have King B5 and then Rook A6. And here, okay, I don't have Rook B6, but I can uh, go with my King, I think. Yeah, just give checks till you go to A3 and then I get the G pawn. <laughs> Check, check, king a3, rook g8, and then to take. And you've got to move your king, and then yeah. it's a draw and race. Yeah, but also here a5 is the best chance. Yes. Mm. And after king b5, it uh, went black. Said before, the white eight. wins the deep one, and yeah, both sides go to queen draw. They agreed to draw. Okay. Here's uh, here's a which here's important that white uh, is a pawn uh, is one tempo slower because uh, tempo slower because otherwise he would uh, go. Uh, he would win it check. because of the check. Yeah. Yeah. But black is. Um, okay, so are there any questions in the chat? Mm. 
any open questions for the game?